Design values of actions at the ultimate limit state is given in this equation. It is basically the summations of the permanent actions, leading variable actions, and the accompanying variable actions. The permanent actions can be more than one. It can be in the form of the favorable or unfavorable conditions. As for the variable actions, there will be only one leading variables, while the remaining are considered the accompanying variables. For the leading variable actions, the factor of safety of the action is to be multiplied with. As for the accompanying variable actions, there is an additional factor of psi, which represents the conditions of combinations, frequency, or quasi-permanent. The factor of safety for the actions need to consider for the favorable and unfavorable conditions in these equations. You will need to test for different combination of the load and choose for the most critical situations. For example, if you have only two variables and one permanent action, there will be only two combinations. That will be the permanent actions, leading variable actions, and the accompanying variable actions. Next, you swap the leading variable actions between the two variable actions. For your second load combinations, this second variable action is now considered the leading variable actions, while the originally considered as a leading variable actions now is considered as the accompanying variable actions. What you can see from the equation here, the factor psi is changed from the variable action number 2 to variable actions number 1. In the case that you have more variable actions, you will have more combinations. The leading variable actions will change in between the variable actions. The remaining are considered as the accompanying variable actions, which need to be multiplied with a factor psi. More variable actions will have more combinations and the similar calculation process will be followed. From these combinations, you will need to choose the most critical situations as your design load. For a typical design comprising the permanent actions, variable actions, and wing action, at least four types of combinations will be checked. The first condition is to check with the GK and the variable action. While the second condition it will be between GK and the wing action. Then the third and fourth, it will be the combined actions of the GK, variable actions, and the wing action. The differences between the third and the fourth, it will be the leading variables and the accompanying variable. For condition C, the wing is considered as the accompanying variable, while condition D, the variable actions is considered as the accompanying variables. You need to consider the favorable and unfavorable conditions. As for the favorable variable actions, there will be no factor of safety applied to the QK.